Good afternoon, year five and six parents, and welcome to the parent information session. Today's session will give you additional information on preparing for school reopening, health and safety, and teaching and learning. Before I go into today's session, I'd just like to introduce to you the head of year five and six. Um, hello everybody and just to let you know we're really really excited to welcome you back into school um, and a special welcome to our very new um, parents and children who are joining year five. We're really excited to meet you and I know all the other children are going to feel just the same. Um, please do let us know if there's any questions in the next week before you return. Um, I'm always here to help and happy to answer any questions. I hope you enjoy it. Bye. Thank you very much. And next, Mr. Kelly, head of year six. Yes, good afternoon, everyone. Lovely uh, to see you all. And I'm pleased that you could make it uh, this afternoon to soak up the information. I've been here in school for a, a fair few days now, and it's really starting to take shape. And we're um, very excited about having your children uh, join us. A big welcome, of course, to all those who are new to Repton. Um, and I think the 6th of March was the last day of school uh, when, when you all went home. So it's almost six months and um, it's going to be great to be back on site and to be back teaching uh, in, 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 in the school building again. So um, back to you, Ms. Gurdon. Captain is very pleased that KHDA is giving their approval to our readiness plan. Reptil will reopen full time for all students in September. We're very excited about this news. Now, flexibility. We recognise that these are anxious times and we will support families as they regain confidence to return to school. Remote learning provision has also been approved by KHDA. So, teachers and pupils older than six, which is year two upwards, will be required to wear a face mask at all times. We ask that one family member or a guardian will only be permitted into the school building for pickup. An appointment system will be in place via Engage. So families will be able to sign up via Engage between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. for a designated time of when they will collect their student, their child. We ask that if you have children in multiple year groups that you start with the younger child and work your way up to school. Similarly, drop off will be in a staggered time. So children can be dropped off from 7.20 a.m. to 8 p.m. Families picking up from one designated areas at the designated time that you have signed up for. Family members will have a maximum of 10 minutes to drop off and pick up. And this is just basically so the corridors are not overcrowded. There are signs. We ask that everyone continue to maintain a two meter distance and that mask are to be worn at all times. Drop off will be from the junior school reception park, parking lot. Pick up will be from the classrooms. So we ask that you do drop off in the junior school car park. Children are to be dropped off and they can make their way into the school. Pickup will be from the classroom and then year five will follow the one way system down the year four corridor into 
Repton Circle. Please do have a watch of Miss Sachs and Mr. Kelly's video. They've made it a wonderful video about this and you'll see exactly what that entails. All meetings will be done online. So we do have a very extensive track and trace protocol in place and this is for screening and a part of our emergency plan. As I mentioned before that we will have an appointment system and that is so we can track and we have the information of who is collecting and who is on campus. We do ask that everyone on campus do wear their lanyards. So if you do need to update your lanyards, please do email our junior school reception. All other visitors will need to sign in as normal. All members of the school community will need to complete a travel and health declaration. This was sent by the school nurse earlier this week. If you have not received such email, please do let Miss Sachs or Mr. Kelly uh, know and they will be able to alert the nurse. We do have an isolation room in the event that we suspect that we have um, a student who needs to be isolated. We do have a room that is separate from the medical room. If there is any thought or any doubt that you have an unwell child, please do not send them into school. So if you or your child is unwell, we're asking that you err on the side of caution and do not send them into school. Detailed policy and procedure has been written in the event that there is a positive COVID-19 case. Hygiene. Common areas in the school will be clean and disinfect every hour or after every use. We do have hand sanitizers throughout the school in classroom and this will be supervised by staff. Year three students upwards, so that's year five and six students, are permitted to bring their own hand sanitizer. These should be medically approved, unscented, and contain 70% alcohol. Shoes and bags should be sanitized each day and the school should encourage a paperless strategy and to elevate technology. So what does that mean? Year five and six are requested to bring their own iPads. That should be an iOS 10 or above, along with their own personal headphones. Children will have their own cubby box under their desk. Sharing equipment will not be permitted. So they'll have their own cubby box under their desk that will hold all of their personal possessions that they bring into school that day. And those won't be touched or utilized by any other students. Children will remain in their own year group micro bubble. So year five and six students are in a micro bubble. Each class will be divided into two. So if we have, um, if your child is in year five Carver, we'll have Carver one and Carver two. And teachers, if they have English, teachers will move around the year five and six micro bubble to see the students. However, the students will not be moving. The students will not be leaving their teaching group. Now we've had a few parents who've asked about blended learning. What is blended learning? Blended learning refers to a mix 
of live teaching and online teaching. So the requirement to provide online teaching for some subjects is married together with normal class teaching. This does not mean coming to school some days, but not other, other days. We do encourage all children to be in school every day and we will use the technology. We will continue to use Seesaw as a part of our blended learning and that's where the online teaching will come into play. The educational profession. Children again will be in their own learning group, in their own year group, in their own micro bubble. Years two to six will be in a maximum of 12. So that's 12 children per group. This cohort of children will stay together and they will stay in that small group of 12 at all times. Children will remain in that group and the teacher will be the one that will switch between class one and class two or between year five and six. When, and at the same time, we're ensuring that the same teachers are in the same corridor. So if there is a specialist for that day, that specialist teacher will stay within the year five and six corridor and will not go into any other micro bubble for that day. So again, classes will not rotate but teachers will. So we will still have specialist teaching within year five and six with the teachers rotating. For sets, we will continue to set in, year, uh, in English and maths. And again, there will be uh, a level of face-to-face and a level of Zoom. Again, that's that blended learning where they will receive both face-to-face -face and Zoom. The school must ensure that academic provision for all students who cannot attend physically. So if you have not done so already and you have a concern or you know that your child will not be attending school physically, please can you contact Mr. Jakes at the email below. Continuing with education provision. So students should bring their own stationery, their own iPads, their own gadgets. Again, these will stay with the students and will not be shared with other students. PE and music will continue to be online as they do remain high risk areas with regards to sanitizing protocols. This will be reviewed at half term. So until half term, PE and music will remain online. Very pleased to inform you that homework and our enrichment program will be introduced starting in week three. The prayer room will be closed and we ask that our Islamic pupils pray at home or they are allowed to bring their own mat and pray in their classroom within their bubble. The library will be closed but we do encourage children to bring their own reading books. Children also wish to bring an activity to play at break time may do so, but please can this be sanitized each day. Okay. What will remote learning look like? All pupils will continue with their logins. So year six students, you will continue with that unique username that you have that you've used from year five. Our year four students who are moving into year five, 
you will receive a new login on the first day of school, maybe on the second, with a username and a unique password. And that is how you will be able to now access Seesaw. We will continue to use Seesaw as a part of our blended uh, learning along with Zoom sessions, live teaching and Zoom sessions in English, Maths, Arabic and Islamic studies. Children will complete work in their exercise books. They will be given one exercise book. They will complete work in their exercise books. We are still expecting presentation um, handwriting, penmanship, everything um, of the normal school year will still be expected. Once the task has been completed in the exercise books, children will then take a photo of that, upload it to Seesaw, and teacher will mark and give feedback from Seesaw. Homework will also be on Seesaw and this will include home learning activities for PE and music. Teachers will contact parents through email. Parents, we ask that you also do the same. Please do not use the messaging service on Seesaw. That does not always work and we want to ensure that our teachers are responding to your emails in a timely manner. So please use email and not the messaging service on Seesaw. Water dispensers are not allowed, um, so those have all been removed. So children should be aiming to drink about two liters of water per day, um, and we're asking that they bring two liters of water per day. You may wish to bring some small bottles to leave in their cubby boxes throughout the week. That's more than okay. Children should bring their own packed lunch and snack. These packed lunch and snacks should arrive with the children in the morning. These also will be stored in their cubby boxes under the table. Lunches will not be permitted to be dropped off during the school day. The school will implement a staggered meal time so the students are a able to socialize and during the, those downtime and b able to maintain a two meter distance as they do this. We ask that pupils wear a fresh uniform each day. Now we are being very flexible with this. They could wear their uniform or a PE kit. Uh, we will not be requiring blazers and ties for the junior school. Again, each child must come to school with their face mask on. We do ask that they have a spare. Shoes and bags should be sanitized each day and stationary items in a small pencil case, lunch and snack, break time activity. So this is basically a list of what the pupils need, a checklist, if you will. So every morning they can go through this list to see if they have their water bottles, if they have their iPads, if they have their face mask and a spear. Now parents, this is your checklist. Please make sure um, that you've booked a pickup time. I believe within next week um, that will go live on Engage. I'm sure Ms. Sachs and Mr. Kelly will inform you of when you're able to book a pickup time. Within that, please make sure we have the contact details of the parent who will be picking up or guardian. Please compute, complete, sorry, please complete the health declaration form if you have not done so already and send that back to the school 
nurse. Lanyards are to be worn at all times. Do familiarize yourself with the car parking, the drop off and pick up areas. Um, I'll go a little bit more in depth about that in a few more slides. And I do know that Miss Sachs and Mr. Kelly are making some videos. So we have that visual for the children. In the afternoon at pickup, please, we ask that you wait in your cars. Do not wait in the junior school reception um, until your appointment pickup time. Again, I cannot stress this enough. If in doubt, do not send your child to school. They can log in remotely. That's the great thing about having blended learning. If they are not feeling well, if you are in doubt, please contact the form teacher. You will have access to all of the Zoom codes, they can log in remotely. Right, for the drop-off zone. So this photo is from the junior school car park. So we ask that parents, if you go around to gate seven, so before you get to Repton School in that graveled area, you take the first right and you go all the way around the perimeter of Repton, you will arrive at gate seven. You could drive in at gate seven. If you are on foot, you could park at gate one. That's at the front of the school, the very first gate at the bottom. Parents in year three and up, we request that you only do a drop off in front of the junior school building. We will have two drop off areas. Year five and six will enter through the junior school reception and that is what's in the photo here. So all year five and six will enter through the junior school through the doors where Mr. Jakes and I stand every morning. So children in the junior school will only be able to enter the building through the junior school reception. That's the only entrance for year five and six children. Pick up in the afternoon. So reception and junior school parents can enter only through gate one if they're on foot or gate seven if they're driving. Again, gate seven is all the way in the back of the school, following the perimeter, the perimeter wall until you see gate seven. Year five and six parents should follow the one-way system and social distancing space indicators. Children will be waiting at their classroom doors, ready to go at the appointment time that you have selected. Once you've entered the corridor, collect your child. If you are in year five, please exit around into year four, down the stairs and out into Repton Circle. While you're walking around, you will see some stairs on your left, please avoid those because that those are up and not within our one-way system. So year five parents go all the way around through year four and proceed down into Repton Circle. Year six parents, you will do the same. Once you come up the stairs, go right into year six corridor. You will continue to go straight, then exit at the staircase in front of you and also out into Repton Circle. Don't worry, there will be a visual from Miss Sachs and Mr. Kelly that will be coming to show you exactly what I've just said. Again, I cannot stress enough, only one parent, one adult is permitted into the junior school building for pickup and we ask that ask that you 
start with younger children first. So if you have a child in reception and one in year five, please collect your reception child and make your way up through the one-way system, collect your year five, then exit through Repton Circle, and then exit the school that way. I hope this is all clear, and I hope this has answered some of the questions that you may have. However, if you had a question that I have not answered, please do feel free to email Ms. Sachs or Mr. Kelly with those additional questions, and we will make sure that they are answered promptly. Again, thank you very much for your time today. I look forward to seeing all of you, most of you, social distance, and of course, on Sunday when we begin. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.